Okay, guys, exciting things happening. All right, you're like, you say that all the time. Well, math is always exciting. All right, don't change the video if you don't think that's true. It's okay if you don't think that's true. But we are going to convert some fractions to decimals. Now, if you're looking at this and you're like, internet math lady, I know what one half is as a decimal and I know what three fourths is as a decimal. Okay, I know you probably do, but I wanna show you why, all right? And then the things we do apply to all turning fractions into decimals, okay? So we must remember that fractions are really just division, right? One half is one divided by two, right? So if I do that long division ways, I'm, um, my first number goes inside my box, right? So I'm really dividing two into one, okay? This is where you're like, two doesn't go into one. Okay, I hear you. What happens if we, we can't do two into one, okay? What we do is we start adding a decimal and zeros on here, okay? So point zero. 1 and 1.0 are the same thing, right? So I didn't change it. It's just 1.0, which is the same as 1. If you need more dividing decimal examples, I'll link a video, okay? All right, so now when we divide decimals, I just bring the decimal up here, okay, right above. And then I can kind of ignore it in here and think of this as a 10, okay? So 2 goes into 10 five times, right? Okay, 5 times 2 gives me 10. I subtract and get zero. And look, I'm done. Oh my gosh, 0.5. <gasps> what? That's how we get that. Okay. There you go. Oh my gosh. Best day ever. Okay, let's do it with three fourths. Okay. I'm going to get green. It's going to look a little Christmassy, even though maybe it's Christmas time when you're watching. It's not when I'm recording, but that's okay. All right. So remember, three over four is the same as three divided by four, right? If I do that long division ways, um, it's going to be four with three inside my box. Again, four doesn't go into three. Um, so we're going to turn it into 3.0, which is the same, right? So now we put our decimal up here. Four goes into 30. How many times? Well, seven times four is 28, which is as close as I'm going to get right now. I subtract that. So 30 minus 28 leaves me with two, okay? So not quite done. I want this to be zero like it was over here, okay? If, it, if I can. So I'm gonna add another zero because 3.00 is still the same as three. Bring it down. Four goes into 25 times, all right? Five times four gives me 20. Yay, subtract a zero. So look, there is my answer. 0 0.75. Okay. Now, if you're like, I could just do that with a calculator. Yes, you could, but I wanted you to see it. Okay. Uh, you are so welcome. Okay. Now I know we did it with more simple ones, but it works with any fraction. Okay. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Okay. Um, hopefully that made sense and you can, uh, get your homework done. Bye.